So what a difference 10 years makes. I wrote this piece when I graduated college and couldn't find a job in my field. And today, 10 years later, I'm in a much better place. But the sentiment still rings true in my heart. To New York, July 14th, 2006. I've given up on the dry professional cover letter that has gotten me nowhere in my postgraduate job search. I've decided to tell you the truth. I need a job. I need you to hire me. I need you to call me back. I will provide you numerous phone numbers and email addresses, even the one I only give to friends who refuse to send me chain letters. I will give you references who will tell you I am wonderful and I will be at work every day. So hire me. Hire me because I have five years experience. Hire me because I have nine years of education. Hire me because I know about art the way that doctors know about all 72 bones in the human foot. Hire me because I know the way that paint feels dried and caked underneath fingernails. Hire me for all the times I sneeze black charcoal dust into white Kleenex while smoking too many cigarettes, while trying to finish a portrait of myself smoking a cigarette with the hand I draw with. Hire me because I know all the founding fathers of the international style of architecture. Hire me because I know how to open a bottle of Shiraz at art openings and serve it to people who were there just for free wine like I was born to do it. Hire me, because I don't draw anymore. And oils aren't conducive to small apartments. Hire me, because Virginia is so in debt, it's forgotten about the art. Hire me so I can leave Norfolk before the Ford plant closes and before they take away more of my boys to float on gray ships in red seas. Hire me because I'm willing to go where the art is. Hire me because I'm willing to give up everything I know, move to the big city, endure culture shock, the amputation of my Volkswagen, expensive rent, cockroaches, snowy winters, people who will joke my southern accents, and the possible alienation of all my family members just to be able to use my degree in a capacity other than teaching unappreciative high school students how to airbrush at my alma mater. <sighs> Hire me, because I do not want to answer the phones for an escort service anymore. Hire me, because I'm sick of seeing women as objects I can sell. Hire me, because if necessary, I can plan you a killer bachelor party. Hire me because I don't want to work a cash register ever again. Or clean up for people that in a place I don't live at or people I don't live with. Hire me because I've been an assistant to some difficult people. People who made me work. But mostly because they knew I could do it. And damn if it isn't time for me to flaunt that to the world. Hire me because I have dreams about where art is going. And hell, I'm gonna come along for the ride. I'll even get out and push. Hire me so I can assist you. Plan your meetings, book your flights, lie to people about where you are because sometimes just aren't good times to talk to certain people. Pick up your dry cleaning. 
Address your Christmas cards. Walk your dog. Be there to chauffeur around artists um, or help communicate with foreign artists that whose language we don't understand and we, we communicate through charades that resemble Parkinson's patients trying to do Tai Chi. <laughs> Hire me to be the person you call when you misplace anything or any thought. Hire me so I can be a staple in your museum and schedule oil changes for your car. Don't get me wrong. I am willing to start anywhere, but I need somewhere I can grow. Art is the love of my life. It is going to sustain me. I've been married and divorced. I don't have kids and I don't want pets. I, art is it. And this, this is my marriage proposal. So hire me. Take me as your assistant. Mold me, scold me, train me to be your bitch. Just hire me. And I swear... I will not let you down.